broadcast live. Say ho. Yo, we out here with the homeboy, Tejo. I was trying to get you like a cigar, you know, but let's consider this the lighter <laughs> that I brought, <laughs> bro. <laughs> it's the lighter. <laughs> what comes after. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, my brother. You know what I mean? Thank you. Um, Thank you for having me, man. Yeah, man. It's been a while. We've been talking about this for a while. Yo, yeah. yo. We're going to get into that. Yeah. Yo, you just, you just had a baby right now, right? Yeah. I just want to make sure that it was you. Yeah, it should be. <laughs> of course, that was me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, 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 how, old is, how old is your baby now? She's like 25 days old. 25, 25 days old? 26. Yeah. How's that been for you? Um, yo, it's been challenging. I'm not going to lie. You know, the, the staying up all night is a real thing. Uh, but she's beautiful and you know it's it's given me a, a different lease on life definitely I have something outside of myself you know to wake up for every day so are you changing napkins yet are yeah you, no for from day one are you making food no well you no making? she's on she's 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 breastfeeding and she's on formula okay yeah but I'm definitely I'm changing nappies all day from day one like yeah what has changed in your routine what are you being taught what didn't you know um, I didn't know that babies didn't see for like the first six weeks. <laughs> so you thought your kid was blind? I thought, I thought oh like, you know, babies came out like seeing everything. Uh, that, that, that's not the case. And what else didn't I know, man? I didn't know it was going to be like, babies have no sense of time. Like they have no clock. They have no body clock. They don't see the sun going down or going up. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, that's a shock to your system, but it's normal for them. But yeah. I mean, other than that, I mean, you know how babies are, man. I mean, I guess also it kind of challenges the dynamic with your, with, with, with your lady also yeah, now, yeah, you know, it's yeah. like, yo, you know, um, she be like, she be bossing you around in a way that she should never bossed you around before. Yeah, but she did that when she was pregnant, you know, ah. just like the hormones and she's pregnant. That was crazy. So I'm happy that the child is here and her hormones are like, you know, leveling out. You know what I mean? Man, it's crazy. You know, I always think about how I first like kind of got to you. Um, yeah, you remember that? Yeah, <laughs> it's like um, I just remember you see you 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 were on SoundCloud. It must have been SoundCloud. Yeah, yeah. It must be a thing. And this was like um, it's probably like six years, seven years ago, you yeah. know. And um, I, I I just never knew you. I just heard you. I was like, yeah. damn. Yeah, I sent you. Uh, I sent you uh, my first. You put up my first ever song on the internet, like yeah. on a on a like on a publication, like you know besides soundcloud or a streaming you know uh service from that side you yeah. know you gave me my first like you know bit of bit of hype honestly yeah yeah you know yeah. i remember and i and i and i used to send out my own press releases at that time i used to like you know send the, the professional emails you know you know what what's the process what i do and you hit me back like you know this is what it is and i think it was out here i think it was out here that's the first song you put up yeah dog and then from then I released since 1990 and shot that video. Yeah, you were my first actual like, you know, shout out. For me, you were just uh, amazing. And, you know, I mean, I remember, I remember, I, I remember my reaction when I heard you. Yeah. You know, I was like, you know, because obviously I get a lot of stuff that's been yeah, sent yeah, through yeah. to me. Of course, of course. And it's always like, you, you, it, it kind of gets exhausting listening to everything that's like, okay, okay, me. Then there's this thing that jumps out. Mm. I was like, damn. Mm. You know, I think I was, I think you were with, were you with Ghetto Rough at the time or uh, were you, you with know, the... I, I wasn't with Ghetto Rough, I was doing my own thing, um, but... But you used to record at but, the Motherland kind yeah, of no, environment? Yeah, no, Motherland, yeah. Lance, we had our own studio, I partnered up with CMG, right? I think CMG is still around in Mel Melville. Yeah. We were actually two doors down from you guys. Yeah, yeah, we had Butter Bing, space. you guys had yeah. Butter Bing, and then we were two doors down from you guys, CMG. Jeez, you've been around for a while. Yeah, I've been you know, around for a while, dog. Yeah. We were two doors down from you. We had our own offices. We built a studio there. And then Lance came by one day. I think he might have come out of your office. Yeah. And then heard about us, came in, you know, heard the music and was like, damn, okay, you guys have something. He brought the fly chicks through. We worked on the fly chicks uh, and then, you know, I think it was it was time to just, you know, up and leave because our situation with the partners we had at that time wasn't, you know, it wasn't right anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was just, yeah. So we had to move on. And then Lance was like, OK, cool. I'll get you guys a studio um, if you want. I'll pay for a studio, another studio here in Melville. That's when we went upstairs sixes. We had a studio upstairs, Sixes. It was yeah. like a loft that we turned into a studio. Yeah, yeah. And then we did like a year of that, or maybe like a year and a half. 
and then the fly chicks ended and he was like okay guys uh you can come to get her off you if you want to work out of there and then they were like okay cool let's go and work out of there for a little while and then when it was time for the paperwork i said you know what? <laughs> <This> is, <laughs> i'm out of here it's been it's been good but yeah i i've you know i've got my own shit you know what i mean i'm cool i've got my own setup i've got my own mac i've got my own mic i've been doing this you know i'm cool with the paperwork and then that was that you had your own mac mic and midi everything bruh that's like um geez how many years ago was that that was that was around so out here i made out here at ghetto uh, and uh, then i think after i made it out here that's when he was like oh shit <laughs> i need to put the paper <laughs> <laughs> and then i was like nah did you read the paperwork or yeah did you i read it say? i was like it, Something about anything made here is ghetto rough property. I said, whoa, bro, I can make this anyway. Like, yeah. you found me making this shit at a, like, come on, bro. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, own yeah, yeah, all yeah. this. I'm good. Like, you know, whoa, dude, we don't have to go there. You know what I mean? And then I was like, I'm out. Yeah. That's a good as six years ago or something like that. What does that tell you about time, though, with regards to finding yourself as an artist? Um... I think first and foremost, you need to like study, man, because I wouldn't have been able to make any of those decisions if I was not constantly on the internet, constantly researching what Jay-Z was doing, what his next deal was, and why he did it like that, and why this person bought back, uh, brought, um, bought back their masters, and you know, and why they're not selling them again, you know? Um, I think that in itself helped me make the decisions that I made, not to sign. I've never signed. Yeah. I've never signed, like, period. So, so how do you get into the family tree situation? That was literally a, a family situation, you know. I think Cass saw... So, so, so let, let me get it right. You move from um, Melville, you, your guy, you guys go above sixes. Yeah. Um, you go get a ref. Yeah. Now, how does, how does, in your singleness or, like, soloness, how do you literally, like, now meet, like, a new group of people which, like, is, is family tree the next step or yeah, yeah, was it um, something else before that? So after after Get A Rough, after out here, after making out here and releasing that, I decided, hey, um, I need a project. You know, let me stop focusing on producing for so many other people. Let me stop focusing on like running a studio mm. and trying to make money, you know, from running a studio. Mm. Um, and let me focus on myself as an artist first and foremost and that's when I said okay cool now my name is Tiho like this is like this is it this is Tiho and this is Mina what did you call yourself when you were Shag like, bro what? like Shag is that what is that what you, that, is that what you that's called what they, that's what they called me like that was my nickname in high school and it just stuck my mom calls me Shag to this day <laughs> well, I mean, damn, you got a baby late for a guy called Shaq. Exactly, you, you know? know what I mean. So, but it was, it was, it was some class count shit, man. It was some class count I, shit. Did you, did you send that to me as Shaq? Even the, the yeah. student, really? I, I think so. Um, no, 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 no. It could have been as Tejo because it could have been as so. Yeah, so I'm I made too, the decision. I'm, yeah, I'm so too I, ignorant to yeah, connect the dots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, one it, so sure. that was that. So when I said, okay, this is what I'm doing. So yeah, at that time when I sent that to you, I had already made the decision. Yeah, I'm rebranding. I'm gonna send press releases. I'm gonna go for the blogs. I'm gonna go for certain things. You know what I mean? Mm. And that's when I decided to do that. But um, before Family Tree, it was me learning how to do everything by myself. It was me producing the shit. Mm -hmm. It was me writing the shit. It was me in my bedroom for the first time, like for months on end, just like working on this one thing, not working on anyone else's shit at this time, not working on nothing else. Just like, yo, this is me now. Um, and then after I dropped since 1990, like everyone woke up. Well, the streets woke up, you know. The streets woke up. My feet gang woke up. And Are you from a feet gang? Yeah, yeah. You okay. can say I'm from a feet gang. Yeah. Like when I came back from the states, we landed in my feet gang. Not because I have family in my feet gang. Like when you're when Is you there take even an airport in my feet gang. <clears throat> um. Yes, there is an airport in my feet gang. Know. Yes, there is an airport in my feet gang. I don't know if it's still open. Uh, but there so was y'all <laughs> literally had a plane straight out the states that landed in my no oh of course not man of course not of course not man i think we landed in uh we landed at or mm -hmm. and then we spent some time at my grandma's place in Kwa Kwa, and then some time in botswana like you know just getting acquainted with my grandparents again from that side 
and then came back and then it was like, okay cool mafi gang is the thing we're doing like okay this is where you guys are gonna go to school you know this is it when so okay so so i'm gonna just bounce back a bit so wh wh and what age were you coming from the states Did uh you, you 12, to, 12 12 2002 so you were living there since like zero yeah so i was born in atlanta um mm -hmm. and then when i was three i came to i think it was pretoria and then when i was six between three and six i lived in between pretoria and joburg and then when i was six we went back and then when i was 12 we came back so where's your accent Yo, my feet game, dog, will kick the shit out of you. Like, like, <laughs> my feet game will kick that shit we out of you. We know, guys, you got exercise. I just wanted to check if you are because they Because they probably, like, held on to that persona. You know what I mean? But yeah. when you're thrown into, like, a place like my feet game, bro, like, first of all, like, I wasn't living in the suburbs. You mm, know what mm, I mean? Mm, like, mm. I was living in Stat 2, first and foremost. Yeah. And then Unit 7, and then when Tiwa. You know what I mean? And then I moved to Rivera Park. And then mm. I moved to Unit 3, which is now considered... The burbs, but they're not the burbs like compared to Joburg yeah, burbs, you know what I mean? Yeah. So there's no time for that boozy shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's no time. I was walking the streets like the rest of my niggas. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I was hopping in the back of the Hilux like the rest of my and niggas. You had to remove that. Well, yes. <laughs> look at you like me. You understand? You know what I mean? So, but they could respect the fact that we do respect where you're from. Mm. You know what I mean? But this is how we do it over here. As long as you can do it like we do it over here and respect our culture. Uh, and respect the way we talk, then cool, we'll respect the way you talk, you know what I, mean? I, I wanted to jump into like um, where you were because I interrupted you. So you were saying months and months and then you were in studio. Oh yeah, then I dropped since 1990 mm. um, and then my feet came woke up, mm. right? And then Jude uh, Rati, um, he was with Family Tree. He started with Cass, he started Family Tree with Cass yeah. basically, yeah. you know, from the ground up. Um, and um, uh, that's when Bash was still there DJing for Cass. Yeah. Um, and I think Tilly had just, you know, um, scooped Cass up as, mm -hmm. you know, he's not just at that time. Not, it wasn't just, but I mean, I, I think it was still a new, maybe a year or two years old yeah, thing. Yeah. Um, and then Jude, we were at the park, literally behind my crib in my feet gang. We were at the park, in the three park. Uh, and he was there and he was like, yo, what up my nigga? Yeah, I heard that shit. That shit is crazy. Like, yeah, so you're thank still you. in Mafi Gang when this drops, yeah? This is December. Yeah, yeah. So we're all in Mafi Gang. Every yeah. December, you go, you visit moms. Yeah, yeah, You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what... Actually, I think it was the day... Was it... Yeah, I think it was the day after Cass's um, annual uh, events. Yeah, Mafi yeah, Gang, Fresh yeah. Prince of Math Town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was the day after that, and I had just performed. And... I think I had just dropped the tape and he was telling me, bro, like, we have to work. Like, we have to do something. Like, what would you think of joining Family mm. And let's just, like, work on the shit and let's see where it goes. Yeah. I think Cass would be open to that shit. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. And I was like, yo, I think, you know, yeah, like, that sounds like a plan. Talk to Cass, let me know. And I think he spoke to Cass and it was like, yeah, for sure. You know, like, uh, yeah, Tsoko definitely... We work together, he's dope, yeah. why not? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think then he went on to sign Gemini and then went on to sign Nadi a year after that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, and then, yeah, that's how that happened, literally. So inside there, because you say you've never signed, you yeah. were there through relationship and affiliation. It wasn't through paper. And I don't think Cass likes working like that because mm. he's also an artist. Yeah, yeah. And he understands, you know, his troubles that he's been through. Mm. When he's wanted to maneuver a certain way and he was told, oh, but because you've signed this, you can't maneuver like that. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And that creates tension. Yeah. Even if you don't want it, it's like, yo, bro, bro that's what you signed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you might not be happy about it, but that's what you signed. And now it just automatically creates tension. Mm. Mm. So I respect him for that, man. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I think that created a really dope environment. Yeah, yeah, and it allowed everyone to like build onto their own things. Cause I mean, we helped cast with the touring circuit, mm -hmm. you know, with the family tree. Like it was us. We were the lineup. Yeah, and it yeah. was easier that yeah, way. Cause yeah. you know, he didn't have to pay us. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? He yeah. didn't have to like do certain things. Cause we were mm -hmm. like, yo, we here for all that because we hope we don't have to pay you when yeah. we need you for our yeah, shit. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. let's ride. You know. Yeah. And of course, us doing this 
puts us into the public eye, which in turn will create value and build our brand. Yeah, and yeah, we yeah. will see income coming in from those parts. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. it's no stress. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Okay. So it was really like a mutual kind Very of... Very mutual. ...beneficial relationship. Yeah. I needed this, you needed that. Yeah. So we know how to exchange it as, yeah. it, as, as it went. Yeah, yeah. And then, I mean, obviously, like, you... you, you 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 always like in the shadows though within family tree you're not really pushing a lot of your stuff it's, it's, a, it's a lot of focus obviously is on is on cast is on Sergio's on Gemini mm. um, do, is this a deliberate thing from you are you like yo I'm not ready to kind of go out within this why why were you um, very much I think I think it was it was it was a number of things you know. Um, uh, I, I always knew that I my brand needs to come across in a certain way, right? And just because this person's story worked out in this way, it doesn't mean that that's going to be my story. Or it doesn't mean that I want this to be my story. Mm. So, with Gemini, it might have been easier to sell him because he was a producer, first of all, and liked and loved producing for everyone else. You know what I mean? Mm. He would produce on your cat, your, your shit, cats. You know mm. what I mean? On cats and shit. Mm. Um, Cause for him it was easy to do and you mm. know, but, but, but I had just told myself, I'm, I'm gonna stop doing that shit. Mm. Like I'm not a producer for niggas. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't like doing that shit anymore. And with Nadia, Nadia comes from a PR background. All she does is PR. You understand? Like, her strength is the PR. Yeah, yeah. Take pictures, post, create yeah, brand yeah. awareness with that shit. Yeah. Me, the way I create awareness is purely the music, bruh. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, like, the yeah. way I create hype is purely with the music. Mm, mm, mm. It, it has to stem from the music. So, that wasn't happening for me at Family Tree mm. too much because at the same time, Figuring out when to drop, you know what I mean? At the same time, I respect Cass. Mm. And I'm not going to drop around his shit. And when he suggests something, I'm going to listen, mm. you know what I mean? I'm going to take it into consideration. Mm. I'm going to, you know, tally up the numbers, mm. you know? Mm. Uh, and, and that, at the same time, I think wastes time mm. for myself. Because mm. I'm thinking about too many people's opinions, mm. you know mm. what I mean? So I had to give myself a term. Like, okay, cool, I'm going to give Family Tree X amount of time. Just like I've given everything else in my life X amount of time to pay off. Mm. And if it doesn't, then I need to wake up and I need to understand. I need to get to the next level and I need to make something happen. So that's what happened. Like, okay, cool. I've been here. These have been my suggestions at Family Tree. This is, these, this, these have been my suggestions for myself at Family Tree. Can you do one, two, three? Can we do one, two, three? Okay. All right. Either we've done the one, two, three, and it's not working, or the one, two, three hasn't happened, and I need to move and yeah. check for a plan. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I just think it was a it was a, a number of things, and then me and Cass had the conversation when he was about to move to Universal, and um, you know I asked him what what his what his plan was like. You know what are, what's going through your mind? What are your like? What's this this deal gonna look like? What is it gonna do for me? What is it gonna do for Nadia? What's it gonna do for you? Mm. How is the money gonna get split? You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, is it a JV? Like, you know what I mean? And we went through all those details. And at the end of it, I was like, okay, I hear, I hear, I hear you and I respect that. But that's not where I'm trying to go. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to... I could rather do it like this much easier and I'll have much better control if I do it this way. Yeah, and yeah. I hope you can respect that. And he was like, yeah, for sure. Like, 100%. Yeah. I understand. Like, you're doing yeah. what you have to do for your career. I'm doing what I have to do for my business, mm, mm. for it to make business sense. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, and then literally I was like, Cass, you know I'm with you. I'm, mm. I'm always here with you, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, let's yeah. grow beside each other. Whenever you need me, I'm here. Whenever I need you, I hope I can reach out to you. Yeah, and, yeah. and we left it at that. Broadcast live.